You know what I never played for you? And I do have a lot of stuff to get to. And I do have to take another break because I screwed up so bad in the beginning. But uh, Eric the Midget, you know, he's not calling our show anymore because he, well, he's mad at the show and mad at me and I'm disgusting. Yeah, I don't even remember what he's mad about. I, I remember only because I listened to this call. So he now started calling Jimmy Kimmel. Uh-huh. And then Jimmy got on with him and, and taped the call with Eric's permission. And, and it's just Eric's calling Jimmy, and he has no agenda whatsoever. I mean, this yeah, is cut is down. He, what does he want from Jimmy? This call evidently went for like 10 or 15 minutes. But he, but listen to this. Testing. Well, well, Jimmy, this is Jimmy calling Eric back. Testing, one, two, three. Dialing Eric the Midget. This is the first midget I've ever called. Enjoy the music while your party is reached. I don't know how you do what you do. Eric's got one of those phones where you have music. Oh. And some gay country song. Yeah, we got to sit and listen to his rascal flats or whatever right. this is. Hello, Eric. Is this Eric? Yeah. It's Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Eric. What's going on with you and the show? How come you're not doing the show anymore? You know, the whole thing that happened with the Benoit family? Yeah. Well, Stern is completely treated that with real bad, uh, kind of disrespectful behavior. And I don't mean so much towards been long himself, but he was making cracks about the son and also the wife. Right, but, I mean, what do they care? They're dead. Well, yeah, you don't do that to victims of a crime. Yeah, but it's not like it's going to bother them. I mean, they're, you know, they're not they're not around. No, if anyone in their family heard it, probably, they probably wouldn't like it any. They probably have bigger problems, though, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm sorry we weren't able to attach you to balloons and fly you and get you on the American Idol finale. Yeah. Do you think you will ever fly with balloons? I mean... Jimmy's totally hung up on getting Eric to fly. I know. He wants it more than anything. That seems like a fun thing to do. Uh, it's just something I thought actually... I mean, I still want it to even go on thrill rides my Me neither, but if I had the chance to fly with balloons, I would take it in an instant. Okay. All right, Eric. Well, it was good talking to you. I really think. Have you ever heard a more boring conversation? It was awful. I mean. Why would he bother Jimmy with this? I don't know. Now he's calling Jimmy, and I said to Jimmy, what was the point of the call? Because I'm not really sure. <laughs> Figure it out. Does he want to go on Jimmy's show? I don't know. He just wants to be friends with famous people, yeah. Just to give you an idea how boring that conversation is, what you have is three minutes. The conversation was over 12 minutes. Oh. Ooh. And it was all this? Yeah. It just goes on and on. You should think twice about calling. I mean, I bet you'll call it to Howard again soon. Not this time around. I bet you will. I'm trying to stay clear. Are you still listening to the show? Yeah. Yeah. You won't be able to resist. I'm pretty sure I will. I don't know. I'm actually going to be down your direction with a family wedding. Oh, really? Is the whole family tiny? No, I know only one other family. When I was a kid, I went to the Ringling Brothers Circus. And I saw uh, Mishu get married. You remember Mishu? I do. No, maybe not ring a bell. Yeah, he was a little midget. He was a little midget, and he had a midget wife, and they would get married at the circus every every town they went to. It was really beautiful, actually. Hmm. Are you the ring bearer at the wedding? I'm just a cousin. Just a cousin? Oh, beautiful. All right, thank you. I appreciate it, Eric. No problem. Stay cool. You too. Bye. Bye. And I mean, that's three minutes of the of a of a fifteen minute conversation or whatever. 
So he just wants to have like a personal relationship yeah. with Jimmy Kimmel. Well, I think he was hint he says I'm going to be down your neck of the woods. I think that's a hint to like hang with Jimmy and come on the show. Maybe yeah. or or just to get tickets or something to the show. I don't know. And all I hear on that thing, I'm going to be down there. Oh, good. That's great. great. <laughs> Maybe we can hang. I'm See. actually going to be in your neck of the woods. Eric's got to be freaking because he's like, you know, we used to hook him up with some cool shit. Now he's trying to latch on to Jimmy, and Jimmy's not sort of biting. Right. Plus, Jimmy always checks in with me, like, what should I do with Eric? You know, so, like, I'm... You're controlling the whole thing. That's right.